what's going on YouTube happy Cinco de Mayo uh, I wanted to share with you guys something that I do whenever I'm repotting my tomatoes um, well usually whenever I'm potting plants you know you put the soil in the pot and whatever something like that but if you're running low on soil and you need to take up some space with some other stuff what you can do is get, if you have pine trees, get some pine needles, which are actually very acidic. So it's okay for me down here because our, our native soil is very alkaline. So I'm not worried about it becoming more acidic. Um, it'll turn black, uh, which is fine for tomatoes. A little bit of eggshell in there maybe, which is calcium. So if you wanted to, you could throw some eggshells in there, take up some space. But... I just grab the plant, pull it out of the pot, set it on top of there, and then fill the rest in with soil. So eventually that's all going to break down, and by the time it starts breaking down, the plant should either be in the ground or in a bigger pot. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I uh, hope you all are having a good Cinco de Mayo. Got maters and stuff going on here. Look at my son's tomatoes. These things are taking off like crazy. Look at that. Beautiful blooms. These are brandy wine, black brandy wines. So, some big old flowers there, but I'm leaving it up to him. If he don't pinch these off, that's his problem, not mine. He's got to learn. Uh, I can only give him tips. Check this out. I want you guys to see this. We get these uh, really, really pretty. Where'd he go? To my. Whoop. We get really pretty butterflies down here and it's hard to catch them. There's one over there flapping around. Real pretty. They're uh, zebra butterflies. There we go. Let's see if we can't zoom in on that. Yeah, zebra butterflies down here are real pretty. Um, we actually have a lot of different butterflies down here like the swallowtails, which look like bird poop. And they uh, use... Uh, citrus and they feed off of them so um, peppers are doing pretty good actually got one coming on right there and I believe these are the red giants I'm pretty sure they are um, black crims are doing good they're flowering so I'm about to give these guys a shot of fish emulsion and uh, get them really kicked off but I'm just trying to get stuff transplanted right now because once you start seeing roots collecting at the bottom, you're going to end up with root bound, and that's not good. And whenever you do transplant it, you can go ahead and loosen the roots up on the bottom of the pot. Um, that won't hurt nothing. It'll just get the roots moving in different directions. And make sure you water it after you do that because you don't want to throw the plant into too much shock. You want to reduce shock as much as possible. And pinching off a few leaves never hurt either. So... Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great Cinco de Mayo, and uh, I'll talk to you later. All right.